Hey everybody, I have a Western Digital laptop hard drive right here that I was having issues. I had the terrible click of death that you get when your hard drive is trying to find a certain layer or sector and it just, the head just sticks. So what I ended up doing was finding, I bought this kit here for like $7 on Amazon. Um, mainly for this head right over here can't see it with the zoom but it's a torque torque bit it's a T3 torque bit that allows you to get these tiny screws that are mounted all along the edges now with these newer hard drives you have to take off the the tamper-proof foil sticker. You also have to take apart the other stickers that they have along here. It used to be there only there would only be four screws around the entire hard drive. Now they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws total to take off this cover plate. Now you want to do this if you know that you're not going to be able to use this drive again. You you have some files on here you really want to get. You could spend $500 on a data recovery service depending on the size of your hard drive. This one is a terabyte. They want to charge me upwards of $1,000. Um, if you have family photos or videos on there that you really need, that might be worth $500 or $1,000 to you. Um, what I usually do is hold on to a hard drive until the technology comes around where things are a lot cheaper. So right now I have a few videos for the channel that I have here. I haven't been able to upload yet. Um, it's not worth $500, but I really want them. I could get this turned back into warranty, but then all my data is going to get wiped. So what I'm going to do is try to just fix it myself. I have all the screws off. And I'm just going to get a flathead screwdriver and try to pry this off. I'm fairly certain I got all the screws. You want to be gentle that you're not going to break the platter off. Oh, I have one screw here that I didn't take off. So again, this is, there's a really small screw in the center that's going to require a T3 torque bit. The rest of them are going to be I believe T5. It doesn't matter if you use a magnetic head, uh, magnets can delete data, but you're going to need huge subwoofer magnet to actually erase data off a hard drive using a magnet. You're supposed to do this in a clean room, but there you go. There's the platter, there's the head, um, so I'm going to plug it in. And see what is actually happening.
I was hoping that the head would be stuck. 